For a whole generation of filmgoers, Christopher Reeve represented the legendary Superman of DC Comics. The tall, handsome man, with his kind and endearing demeanor, appeared destined to play the legendary Man of Steel on film. And in a phenomenally successful run of four Superman movies that captivated audiences worldwide and solidified his position in the pantheon of pop culture luminaries, Reeve accomplished exactly that from 1978 to 1987. However, behind Reeve's persona as the apparently unbeatable superhero was a real existence shaped by deep, unfathomable sadness and an inner strength that surpassed the abilities of any comic book character. Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Reeve. You realize the power of film to present painful but important issues to the public. This is Christopher Reeve's dramatic true tale. From his quick ascent to worldwide fame, to the tragic accident that left him paralyzed, his incredible tenacity, and life's purpose in the face of tremendous hardship, and his tragically short last days. It's a story of bravery, optimism, and really superhuman fortitude in the face of the most extreme obstacles. September 25, 1952, saw the birth of Christopher Reeve in New York City to a household rich in academic interests and the arts. His father, Franklin, was a well-respected writer, teacher, and novelist. His mother, Barbara, was a gifted journalist. Raised in the sophisticated setting that encouraged originality and unrestricted expression from an early age, the gifted Reeve was deeply influenced by literature, theater, and performing arts. With his strikingly tall six-foot-four height, clearly chiseled good looks, velvety baritone voice, and Ivy League education at the esteemed Cornell University, Reeve seemed destined for greatness in whatever path he pursued after graduating with an English literature degree in 1974. That path quickly turned to acting when the charismatic young talent landed his first major role, starring in the CBS drama series Across the Rickety Bridge while still in his early 20s. A few years later, in 1978, following a protracted, painstaking talent search and casting process by the creative team behind the first big-budget Superman film in almost 40 years, Reeve's life changed forever. At just 25 years old, the ruggedly handsome and muscular Reeve landed what would become his defining, career-making role, playing the iconic title character Superman, as well as his meek alter ego Clark Kent in the ambitious project directed by Richard Donner. Reeve was the perfect choice to play the iconic 1940s comic book hero Superman on the big screen in a contemporary remake because of his six-foot-four stature, bright-eyed and youthfully sincere manner, modest aw-shucks charm, and truly eerie physical resemblance. When Reeve put on the iconic blue suit with the S logo, red cape, and spit-curled black hair for the first time during costume and screen tests in the run-up to production, the makers of the movie knew they had found their man of steel. The movie debuted in December 1978. It became an enormous box office success that permanently changed the superhero genre in movies and brought instant stardom to its young star and a new global pop culture figure that millions of people worldwide adored. Over the next nine years, Reeves starred in three sequels to the $300 million box office blockbuster and critically acclaimed Superman in Superman 2, Superman 3, and the ill-received Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. The well-groomed and well-spoken Reeve appeared to have it all during his 1980s heyday. International notoriety and a fervent fan base, critical praise, large financial payouts, and a stunning family that included long-term wife Gay Exton and their two kids. Beneath the glitzy exterior of the Man of Steel, however, Reeve was becoming more and more unhappy with spending almost ten of his best acting years portraying the same legendary character again and again. Reeve was a skilled actor who longed to escape being hopelessly typecast, even if he took great delight in the cultural acclaim surrounding his star-making performance as Superman. He was looking for fresh challenges that would let him use his theatrical range to the fullest extent possible by creating complex, varied characters that went much beyond the stereotype of a comic book hero. Reeve believed, very simply, that he could not completely realize his creative ambitions while wearing the red cape and blue costume perpetually. Reeve thus concentrated all of his energies on seeking new sorts of complex parts and pushing the limits of his theatrical abilities as a versatile actor after ultimately hanging up the legendary superhero ensemble after the financial failure of Superman IV in 1987. 
it was beyond his imagination that those creative aspirations and general prime of his life would come to such a brutal end a few years later in one tragic, stunning event that would change the course of his life forever. The 42-year-old Reeve was in Culpeper, Virginia, early on May 27, 1995, to take part in an annual cross-country riding competition, a favorite pastime of his as a world-class horseman. The actor's horse had a bad landing on one of the event's most terrifying leaps. It stopped suddenly upon impact and sent its rider brutally tumbling headfirst from the saddle at a high speed. Reeve suffered a devastating spinal cord injury in the odd accident when he slammed the top rail of the next fence squarely with the topmost vertebra of his cervical spine. Medical specialists say Reeve was instantly and totally paralyzed from the shoulders down when the collision broke the second vertebra of his neck. More horribly, the impact spinal cord damage cut off communication between his brain and body below the injury site, robbing him of the capacity to control motor function and musculature in his torso, arms, and legs, and leaving him unable to breathe on his own without mechanical help. For Reeve, the equestrian tragedy had rapid, completely life-altering consequences in addition to lasting ones. The once strong, physically active, and athletic actor became bedridden, wheelchair-bound, and completely immobile with the worst kind of quadriplegia brought on by a cervical spinal cord injury in the blink of an eye. The guy who on film had so effectively portrayed the very strong, indestructible Superman, performing many acts of bravery, strength, and endurance as the Kryptonian superhero, was suddenly totally devoid of his freedom and most fundamental physical abilities. Reeve fluctuated between episodes of excruciating physical agony and mental anguish in the terrible days and weeks that followed the catastrophic accident as he struggled with his new quadriplegic reality and lifelong impairment. Years distant from his worldwide notoriety and legendary status as a man of steel, the 42-year-old had to find the strongest inner will and strength to endure when his lifetime of independence was violently taken away from him without warning. The roles he played, the awards, the money, and fame Reeve had amassed during his legendary career suddenly had no meaning as he had to muster the bravery to continue under conditions that most people couldn't imagine. Reeve said in a soul-bearing interview with Barbara Walters on the ABC News program 2020 how dark and hopeless those early days were for him as he initially struggled to come to terms with a fallout from the equestrian incident that left him a quadriplegic. The actor said that he had even begged Dana, his loving wife of 12 years, to let him pass away since he did not see a quality of life worth living in the permanently crippled state he was currently in. With heartbreaking sincerity, Reeve said, I had this visceral thought. Maybe it's simply not worth everybody's bother and attempts to keep me alive like this. When I first recovered consciousness and fully comprehended what had happened to me, I could not imagine how I was going to find purpose or dignity existing as a human being with such a catastrophic disability and illness. I even told Dana, maybe we should just let me go. Reeve was fortunate to have his beloved wife Dana to support him through those early, darkest hours of hopelessness and misery after the writing tragedy. Dana gave her heartbroken husband her word that she would never leave him and would back him in whatever direction he decided to take as they faced this unfathomable new reality together. Carefully reassuring him, she said, I want you to know that I'll stand by you. I don't want you to give up or to make any permanent decisions for at least two years. Let's take this piece by piece, day by day. Then we'll decide if you truly still want to consider saying goodbye to life forever. I believe you still have so much to give to this world, even in your current condition. Years later, Reeve recognized that Dana's unfailing optimism, dedication, and spiritual perspective were what provided him with the priceless inner strength and resiliency to transform his own perspective and mindset. He began to see himself as something more than just a disabled person, but as a vehicle for significant impact through advocacy work, raising awareness of spinal cord injuries worldwide, and working to assist others facing comparable paralyzing conditions. My whole sense of autonomy and who I'd been as a person had been stripped away in those early days. I really felt like a broken, empty shell, Reeves said, with a serious air. But Dana sat by my side every single day, some days just holding my hand or helping me with the physical exercises and functions I was now incapable of doing on my own. Her optimism, eternal support, and belief in me never wavered. She never let me fully wallow in the self-pity and darkness I was consumed by. Even though I couldn't see past my own suffering and anguish at that moment, 
Dana has an amazing ability to make me see that there are still reasons to live, a new purpose to find in this world, the actor said. She keeps me from going into that bottomless place of hopelessness. Looking back, her resilience and insistence that I keep fighting is what saved me from giving up in those agonizing initial months after the accident. Reeve gradually rediscovered the resolve to go on and rededicate himself to live life as fully as possible within the new limits of his tragic physiological constraints as a quadriplegic, with Dana's unwavering love and fortitude lifting his spirits. He threw himself into studying spinal cord injuries, experimental therapies, and rehabilitation techniques that could help him restore some of the feeling, function, and muscle control that the riding accident had taken away from him. Reeve studied every facet of his cervical spinal cord injury for many hours with leading medical professionals and the best scientific brains. He held fast to the optimism generated by groundbreaking treatments at that time, such as injectable antibodies under trial and tiny implantable computer chips being tested on rats to promote the regeneration and reconnection of damaged spinal nerve pathways. The once athlete also threw himself into every physical therapy and rehabilitation session, pushing his body as far as willpower would allow in spite of his quadriplegia. Reeve's goal and unwavering hope in the face of such extreme hardship was to walk again by the time he was 50 years old, a possibility that most medical professionals thought was at best ludicrous. Still, Reeve's goals and sheer willpower lifted him out of his lowest emotional moments and brought him back to life after the tragedy. Reeve was motivated by that renewed sense of purpose and personal drive to act directly on an idea he had while being temporarily confined to a hospital bed in 1996. The creation of a nonprofit organization committed to improving the quality of life for those who are already living with spinal cord injuries and facing comparable emotional and physical challenges, as well as to find workable treatments and cures for paralysis brought on by such injuries. Thus, the goal of the Christopher Reeve Foundation later renamed the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation after his wife's tragic death in 2006, was to promote research to develop life-saving treatments for paralytic diseases while promoting greater independence, dignity, and daily accessibility for those confined to wheelchairs or a lifetime of disability. Reeve pushed himself into his new position as humanitarian leader and advocate for the disabled community, and he became a credible person who could relate to the difficulties of paralysis from a very personal perspective. He traveled the nation and abroad, urging government leaders to support innovative scientific research into spinal regeneration and rehabilitation, collecting money and boosting public awareness via a great deal of media interviews and passionate public lectures. This included a moving call to action for the entertainment business to better highlight the lives, experiences, and systematic marginalization of individuals with disabilities in a speech he gave at the 1996 Academy Awards ceremony only one year after his life-altering injury. Realize the power of film to present painful but important issues to the public, Reeve fervently exhorted his colleagues during the international television broadcast. Filmmakers have shed light on social injustice from racism to AIDS. They should now also provide us with strong, entertaining arguments for improving society by removing the barriers of ignorance to recognize the actual impairments that exist in the world around us. Outside of his ceaseless advocacy work, Reeve somehow decided to revive his acting career from his wheelchair, landing moving parts on stage, in television shows, and even in the 1998 version of Rear Window. With the 1997 HBO drama In the Gloaming, which received five Emmy Award nominations, he also had a successful directing debut. Christopher Reeve impressed the world with his unwavering tenacity, joy for life, and campaigned to improve the lives of those like him facing unfathomable conditions for over 10 years after his catastrophic horse accident. His charity alone brought in more than $110 million by 2013 for spinal cord advocacy and research. But as heroically and inspirationally as Reeve persisted in his new second life, carrying out his goal to support the disabled community, his narrative turned out to have one more devastating third act. In late 2004, the actor's immobility was still having physical repercussions, and during a standard medical operation to make breathing easier, serious problems developed. Reeve had anesthesia-related catastrophic cardiac arrest during a procedure to implant a sensor that helps with breathing. Doctors battled feverishly in critical care for over 24 hours to restore and stabilize the actor's failing heart and lungs. Tragically, there was too much permanent harm. On October 10, 2004, 
At the age of 52, Christopher Reeve, the man who had portrayed superhuman power, bravery, and physical invincibility on film as Superman over 20 years earlier, slipped into a coma and died from heart failure. The demise of this real-life hero and inspiration, just when he was reaching the pinnacle of his philanthropic later life's journey, left innumerable admirers, disability activists, and charity supporters worldwide completely grieved. Reeve had spent his last years following the horrific riding accident with the same unwavering courage, tenacity, and fighting spirit he had previously brought to his part of the legendary Man of Steel, if that was any comfort. He never wavered in his hope that he could walk again, his desire to assist others, or his brilliant eyes. Tragically, just 17 months after Christopher Reeve passed away, his widow Dana, the brave, loving woman who had pulled him out of despair and supported his life's work, passed away in March of 2006 at the age of 44 from lung cancer complications. After her husband passed away tragically, Dana had chaired the family's foundation to make sure their life's work to help the disabled community and cure paralysis would go on. Upon his mother's death, their son, Will Reeve, assumed leadership of the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation, determined to continue his parents' inspiring legacy by helping millions of spinal cord injury survivors worldwide. Their charity is still a ray of optimism, raising awareness and promoting action aimed at quickening the development of workable paralysis treatments. By 2013, the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation had alone contributed over $116 million in vital research grants for spinal cord injury research, advancing the world toward Christopher's ultimate goal of biomedical treatments that promote the regeneration of damaged nerve pathways to enable the paralyzed to walk again unaided. In addition, the Foundation has awarded over $16 million in Quality of Life Awards to increase accessibility of homes, communities, and societal infrastructure for those with physical impairments, igniting grassroots activism, similar to Reeve's own persistent campaign. More generally, however, millions of people found great resonance in Christopher Reeve's real-life narrative of bravery, optimism, and real superhuman tenacity against extreme hardship that went far beyond his acting career as DC's greatest superhero. This was a worldwide superstar and cultural icon who became well-known and adored by playing a fictitious superhuman ideal on film as Superman, only to have his real life rocked to its foundation in a manner that would have easily destroyed his unbreakable spirit. Rather, Reeve demonstrated resiliency equal to the greatest achievements of any comic book hero when he was confronted with a catastrophic physical trauma that permanently robbed him of his freedom and bodily autonomy. Following his devastating 1995 horse accident, which left him as a quadriplegic at the height of his career and life, Christopher Reeve, for 10 years, followed an inspired new path based on charity, compassion, and giving voice to the larger disabled community. Driven by his wife Dana's unrelenting love and unrestricted optimism, the former Man of Steel resisted giving in to self-pity and instead found an even greater supply of emotional strength and will to live.